on September 5th, 1992, Warner Brothers premiered Batman, the animated series, on Fox as part of their Fox Kids block. The series was highly successful, not just with kids, but it also connected with the comic book fans due to its dark tone and modernization of the crime fighter Batman. The eyes of justice are watching. It's Batman! Where would a villain like me hide a ball? A giant maze. Revving up on his back cycle, Batman races to the scene, surprising Riddler. <gasps> Time's up! Turbojet Batman triumphs! Already betting on a hit series, Kenner released the action figure line for Batman the Animated Series, timing the release of the figures within weeks of the show's premiere. The toy line, like the show, was a hit, not only with kids, but with a new kind of audience. The early 20s Gen Xer toy collectors. Along with the action figure line, Kenner released playsets and vehicles. Among these vehicles was the Robin Dragster. The Robin Dragster was transformed from a four-wheel drag car to a high-riding 4x4. With the Batmobile already in stores, Kenner set to release the Dragster a little closer to the Christmas season. And when it hit stores, there wasn't much fanfare. The Batmobile was the hottest vehicle in the line. Collectors often overlooked the Robin Dragster. Like most of the Batman, the animated series toys, they were produced in Thailand at the Carter Industrial Toy Factory. On May 10, 1993, the factory, located on the outskirts of the capital of Bangkok, erupted in a massive fire, taking the lives of 188 employees, most who were young women. Another 496 workers were injured, and many workers had to leap from the factory's fourth floor windows to avoid being burned alive. The factory had no fire extinguishers, no fire alarm system, and no water sprinklers. The elevators in the factory were on lockdown or at times being used for storage. The factory was a death trap. The steel girders holding the factory together were giving away in less than 15 minutes of the fire. Even those trying to escape from the ground floor found the exit doors to be jammed shut. Over the next few months, there was very little said about the fire from inside Thailand. However, there was a widespread anger by many. The toy factory, co-owned by Thai and Hong Kong investors, was criticized for their part of allowing the factory to operate in such unsafe conditions. Kenner, along with other companies like Tyco and Arco, would fax over orders to the toy factory. Without ever seeing the factory themselves, or at least showing no interest in the safety standards, wages, or conditions of the factory, and its workers who produced the plastic molds for their toys. The molds for the Robin Dragster was destroyed in the fire, along with other molds. However, while most of the vehicles and toys in the line were also being produced at other factories, the Robin Dragster had yet gone into mass production. Most of what had been released was found in limited areas of North America and mostly in Canada. Due to this, what was already in the stores was all that was left of the Robin Dragster. When word hit that no more of the Robin Dragsters would be produced, the collector's market scrambled to find the remaining stock. By the summer of 1993, the Dragster was selling on the secondary market in toy collector magazines to close to $1,000 for an unopened box. However, the frenzy for the Robin Dragster did die down as Kenner went on with his Batman the Animated Series line. Today, the Robin Dragster can be found easily on eBay, but it's still one of the rarest items in the line. Boxed and in good condition, it can fetch between $250 to $300. And that's a look at the tragic story of the Robin Dragster. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.